All right, so here are the Swifter wet mopping cloths right here. I'm gonna show you how to assemble these, how to use this right here. So this is Swifter wet mopping cloths right here, fresh scent right here. It says that it traps and locks multi-surfaces, all right? So uh, what that means is it traps and locks the dirt on different types of surfaces uh, when you're using these, all right? So if you want to, you can go ahead and read the instructions on the side where it says attach, clean, flip the scrub, flip and scrub, okay? So you can flip this and actually scrub, and I'll show you how to do that, and remove when dirty, all right? So I'm gonna go ahead and open this, and in here there are a lot of wet wipes in here to be attached to a Swifter, and I'm going to show you how to attach them to the Swifter. I'm just gonna pull it back. You can smell the freshness of this. There's actually a cap that goes along on top of this when you're done. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead and take one of these out, and if you look at them, that it has a little scrubby blue strip on this. So this is for scrubbing hard to get off grime that is on the ground. So you're gonna open this up and lay it flat down on the ground like this. Now it's important that you put the lid back on the top of the Swifter wipes so it doesn't dry out and so that it doesn't leak everywhere. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and place the Swifter down right here, all right, just before the green strip right here. Once I place it down there evenly, uh, even space on both sides, on all sides, I'm going to take this, I'm going to flip it, and you see these holes, there's holes right here. And what you're going to do is once you flip that up there like that, you're going to take your finger, press inside of the hole, and push the white inside of the hole, and it actually grips the white. All right, so I'm going to do that side, and then I'm going to do this side right here. Just go ahead and flip it like this first, and then press it like that. All right, so I'm pressing it in like that. Now I'm ready to swifter. All right, so now that I have this up, now when you're swiftering, all right, so you're just going to simply go back, and I like to go with the grain. I just simply go like this, and keep on going down, and then pulling back, and you get a lot of things up off the ground. Let's see if we already see some dirt. Not much, because I keep my floors clean. Now, remember the flip and scrub part that I was talking about at the beginning? Well, that is this right here. If you look at this, you probably can't see it too well. It actually is a scrubber, so you can actually scrub some hard to get grime from off the ground. And so how do you use that? You just simply flip it like this. Sometimes it can be challenging. So right here, just flip it like that. All right, I'm supposed to make this look simple, right? And then you can actually scrub it with that green strip. If you have some gunk or grime, down there, you can actually scrub it and get it up a little bit with that green strip. And when you're done, you just flip it over. Now, I'm going to show you a secret with Swiftering, all right? So once you've been Swiftering your floor and everything like that, and then these are some tips that can, you know, get most out of your money when using a Swifter, all right? So when you're mopping and mopping, 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 mopping like that, what you can do, and if it gets too dirty, your floors are too dirty, you can actually take the Swifter out, Take the wipe out, right, like this, and this is what I do. Take the, the wipe out, and then I flip the Swifter, right? I flip it so the dirty side is facing up, the clean side is facing down, and I go ahead and put this in, and I get the most out of the Swifter, okay? So I flipped it up there, did the exact same process for locking it in, and then I'm able to get a brand new clean side and get more out of my Swifter. Another secret is sometimes there's some a little bit of juice left down inside of the container. I'll pour a little bit of juice actually on the wipe itself, and that gives it a little bit more juice in there so I can continue to wipe and clean the floor solidly. Now, one thing I know with using the Swifter is multiple passes. So when I'm Swiftering, I'm Swiftering like this. You see that? And it gets it clean. And so when you're all done, just go ahead and take the Swifter. And if you need a new pad, go ahead and get a new pad. If not, just go ahead and take this off. Just pull it out of the slots and dispose of it just like that. Just throw it away. 
And that's how you'd use a Swifter. I hope this was helpful. Thanks a lot for watching.